other one. So let us look at another example on how to use psychometric chart. Example number five says that a large room contains moist air at 30 degrees Celsius and 101.325 kilopascal pressure. The partial pressure of water vapor is at this temperature at 30 degrees Celsius it is 1.5 kPa. So it will mean a, B, C, and D, the relative humidity, the humidity ratio, dew point, and it is also given to us that the partial pressure in saturated gas at 30 degrees Celsius is 4.25 kilopascal. Now, we want to function earlier in the class when discussing how to actually use the psychometric task that for us to use the to So if you see, we only have one value here, which is our work. And then we can give us partial pressure P A, right? And also the saturated pressure, which is our. Yes. Now we have to find actually that can be located in our chart. Can find all this. Now, if I look at my PA and PAS, I know that it has something to do with sensitivity. I look at I know my PA and I know my PAS, so I can easily calculate the value of relative humidity at 30 degree Celsius. So if I put the value of PA is 1.5, the value of PAS, which is equal to 4.25, and I time these two with a value of 100. So I will actually get the value of HR is equal to. 35.3%. So, in order for me to use this value, we can also say that in our, in order for us to use this value in our psychometric chart, we can say that this value is actually 35%. So, it will be easier for us to find the value. So now. By using this formula, we actually have gotten the answer for part A, right? We have gotten this value. And now we also have two values now. So, by right again, I know my uh, dry bulb temperature is equal to 30 degrees Celsius. And then now, based on this formula, I now have my second property, which is my relative humidity, which is equal to 35%. Now, since I have these two properties now, I can actually use these two properties in my psychometric chart. So, first of all, let's get the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and then find the value of, third, uh, let's say 10, 20, 35, somewhere around here, right? Your, your line will be somewhere around here. So, once you have found the intersection point between the temperature and the relative humidity, Everything else is the simple step of just finding all these other values. So from there, I can find that my value of T at the point of intersection between 35% relative humidity and dry bulb temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, the HLU, the humidity value is actually equal to 0 0.0093. Kg H2O over Kg dry air. Next, I want to find the value of my dew point temperature, which is going to be around 13 degrees Celsius. And finally, my humid volume V is going to be equal to around 
0.871 newton cube per kg right so these are my final answer so basically in this example you can actually see that how we can actually use not only this the psychometric chart but also the formula to find your value 